Hello, this is Apocrypha from Apoc Industries with day 42 of Nightfall. Uh, we just had a really key moment, uh, critical milestone where we have red circuits up and running. Um, we are now ready to get into some more advanced stuff, but before we get to that, we still have a couple of intermediate products that we need to get set up. Uh, namely, we need to set up uh, oil cracking, which we can't do until um, advanced oil processing is done. Uh, we need to set up a sulfur facility, a battery facility, and a green circuit facility. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at uh, today. We kind of have right here earmarked for sulfur, uh, for sulfuric acid, which is just we're going to be making sulfur and sulfuric acid out of uh, the one facility. So we'll probably do that here. Um, our green circuits are going to be here. Uh, but what we're going to do first is see if we can fill in this lake. Uh, so we're just going to run over and grab some thingamajiggers. Um, we could also potentially look at um, doing some... Uh, night vision goggles in our, uh, you know, our modular armor. We don't really have much else to put in there right now. What does solar panels take to make? A lot of electronic circuits. Well, we have electronic circuits. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can look at doing that. Maybe not. How much did they take each? Five solar panels each. No, you know what? This would be something that we would uh, get set up in a uh, assembler somewhere. And I don't feel like doing that right now. What I do feel like doing is land filling. Land filling like a villain. I can't promise it won't happen again. Where's the lake? Let's hope we don't get run over. I don't even think we have any, anything over here to run us over, but it wouldn't surprise me if we did get run over at some point. Now hopefully we'll actually have enough landfill to completely fill this in. Ta-da! There we go. There's one lake filled in. We're eventually going to want to landfill this lake as well. Uh, but for now... Oh! I see another little lake we can landfill. Let's do it. That's just straight across here. While we have the landfill on us. We'll probably also want to landfill in a lot of this stuff too to really give us space for manufacturing. But uh, for now, we are going to go do some more planning. And specifically, we are going to be planning our sulfur facility, I think. I think that's what we're going to do first. We're just going to drop off all this extra landfill. steel chest? No, it's not. You know what? We can really just save up a bunch of landfill. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, alright. Our stone is slowly going to run out, and there's not much we can do about it, except maybe not make the entire thing into landfill. Because uh, we still haven't found any other stone deposits anywhere yet, so I guess we should... Uh, Maybe you go a little easy on the stone. Maybe. Probably not a bad idea. We also do need to take some time at some point and go clear out some of these biters that have uh, really started encroaching on our outposts. But 
We're not going to worry about that today. Not today. We are, however, going to take a look at this sulfur facility, which we are just going to confirm that we are putting that here. Okay, so let's see how we can do this with our updated uh, layout book. Uh, so our sulfur facility has five inbound stations, or uh, five stations. It has, let's see. Uh, never, I don't think we'll ever have like a lot of traffic here, but I like to have four stackers anyway because I think it looks nice. So we are going to have acid outbound, sulfur outbound, petroleum inbound, iron inbound, and resupply. So there we go. That's what our sulfur processing is going to look like. Um, the other thing that we are going to do is consider what it's going to look like. We're going to have um, two columns of stuff, one for making sulfur and one for making uh, acid. Uh, how did we kind of left some space for stuff there? Uh, we have Iron and petroleum in coming in here. We could hypothetically. I I don't know. I kind of like the idea of um, having our uh, inbounds. Uh, this would be our resupply. So we can actually not confuse ourselves. There's a resupply. Don't need any of these. Um, also, don't need any of these. Technically, also don't need this end of this. Everything's going to be on the other side there. Right. Okay, uh, so as I was saying, um, I like the idea of kind of splitting off our inputs and outputs so that our inputs go up, come down, and go into our outputs, but that doesn't really leave us a nice space for a path, so I don't think that I'm actually going to do that. Uh, what we will maybe do is put in our packs uh, so that it's a little bit out of the way. Like here, say. That. And then um, have our walking path be... We, we don't even technically need to have a walking path uh, here for this stuff anyway. But let's... We like to. We like to. That's, that's all that it really comes down to. Um, so our inputs are petroleum and iron, so this is going to be a fluid, this is going to be a solid, and this is probably only going to be like a single, uh, single input here. Uh, so we'll send all of our products upwards. I suppose, except for our sulfur, which we'll probably wait now. These are not inbound, these are outbound. Getting confused already. Oops. Our inbounds are up here. They don't need a lot of room though. So let's grab our layout book and uh, think about how this is going to be laid out. Uh, so what we need is a single column for um, 
a single column for the chem plants for sulfur, and then a single What am I doing? Losing my train of thro losing my train of throt is what. Um then we are gonna have sulfur and acid coming out. But those are gonna be going into here. So again, ideally we would like to have maybe something like this. Because I don't think that, yeah, that's too close. Let's let's give it at least a little bit of breathing room here, um, like this. We don't actually need to have this walk again. We don't need to have this walking path here. Um, trying to lay it out so it looks nice. And our petroleum is going to be coming in just feeding our sulfur. Uh, we need water too. Water will be easy to come by though. Uh, so that's not so bad. At least I think. I think sulfur takes water. Yeah, salt. It doesn't even have any solid inputs. The solid inputs are only for uh, the next column. Hmm. Okay. In that case, perhaps what we'll do is um, have our iron be on that bottom lane there. Maybe even something like this. Let's try this. So we'll have our iron coming in the top, coming down. Our uh, petroleum kind of dumping into here uh, with the sulfur looping up and coming down and then the uh, the overflow from that coming out this way and then uh, we'll have our um, you know our, our sulfur coming in here uh, acid going in that way yeah let, let's try that all right so what we need is nine chemical plants Yeah, there we go. And we'll go grab a whole bunch of pipes because surely we're going to need a whole bunch of pipes. Uh, we'll probably also run out of inserters at some point. And bots. Always need more bots. And we have lots of lights, so that should be fine. Uh, we also need more poles, inserters. I don't think that we need long inserters, but just in case we do, grab some of those. Uh, okay, so we've got our chemical plants. Uh, we are also going to need how many inbound trains? Two inbound trains. So let's grab some engine units. Like our two trains. Uh, probably need steel for the remaining stuff that we need. Um, because we are going to be bringing in iron and petroleum. Um, our petroleum train that we're running for plastic, we're only using a, a single wagon, right? Where you at? You are a single wagon. Yeah, okay. So we'll do the same thing with this. We'll do a single wagon of um, whatever this is called. Petroleum. Um, do we, I feel like we have an extra wagon kicking around. We do, okay. Um, and maybe we'll do like a single wagon for um, uh, the iron as well. I feel like we're not going to need that much iron. Okay. So let's head over to... What's the closest station there? Plastic. Let's head over there.
And we'll do kind of what we did last time, uh, where we're going to drive around and set up our pack station first. Oh, we also need stone bricks. I'd really like to pick those up first. Sorry, we'll be back for you. What are we doing for rails? 600, that should be enough. Signals, got lots. Ammo, 270 for some reason. Why did we come back here? I can't remember. Oh, stone. common factorial problem going to do something and then not remembering why you've come to where you've gone. Factorial problems! And we'll go back to plastic. Oh, something just went by here. Maybe we'll set this on manual so we can just take that turn when we need to. Alright, and look, there we go. We'll just run around along the outside. Get our pack station set up first. Ah, 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 where are you going? Where are you getting attacked? Oh yeah, up here where we have like a whole bunch of, they're just like, as soon as they spawn, they're running down. Is that what's happening? We go through a bunch of ammo. That's fine though. Oh my goodness. We gotta get a military outpost set up as well so that we can start making armor piercing ammo. But we haven't really tapped copper yet, have we? Oh wait, no, we, we did. We tapped this. That should be fine. Uh, we haven't set up steel smelting yet, though, which is something that we do need to set up. And we're going to need a few more train stations, I imagine. You are going to be... Sulfur packs. And for some reason, there is a light right there. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Oh well. I apologize that it's so dark. I thought that I had something set up. To make it so that it wouldn't be so dark, but I guess it's either not working or uh, not enabled. Anyway, let's go to sulfur packs. Okay, hopefully, this won't take too long to build. Um, as per usual, we want to get our stations set up first, I suppose. Okay, so we'll do our resupply first, again, as per usual. And now that our um, advanced oil processing is finished, we'll definitely want to get to uh, setting up oil cracking as soon as possible. That'll be the very next thing that we do. Um, supply. And we don't need ammo here. I should really just make a version of this blueprint that doesn't include ammo. Need four decider combinators. One, two, three, four. And you're going to be called resupply. Stop. And that train is now coming to resupply. Um, we decided that our iron is going to be here. Uh, so we'll go grab 
the color for our iron. This is going to be sulfur iron drop off. We need to be placing our stations first. Uh, unload right, except we're going to only do a single wagon. single wagon of iron is going to be 4,000. Is that right? Sounds about right. Okay, there we go. And this is going to be a sulfur iron drop-off. All right. You are going to be a train. You're going to be that color. And you are, oh, hold on. We're going to make sure that you don't get screwed up first. We have to build this quickly if we want to get it done today. Uh, you are going to be something to do with iron, sulfur iron drop off until empty, and iron pickup, smelter iron pickup until Full. Go, my pretty. You are going to be a fluid unload, right? Except we're not going to stockpile a whole bunch of petroleum here like we did with uh, with our plastic station. We made a mistake there, and we haven't finished. We haven't fixed it, and that's okay. Uh, we're going to take this, no, that's not a blueprint, that's a light. Take that out, we'll take, you know, we might just take this whole thing out and instead uh, use this um, storage tank as our only um, our only uh, reservoir. You are going to be sulfur petro drop off. And I noticed that we have a train which is just sitting here. What is happening? How did this? How did this happen? Something bad happened. I don't understand. How could it have gone over here without there actually being any petroleum available? Is, is it possible that something else is pulling petroleum out? We should go fix this, but for the time being, we'll just let it be. Okay, uh, sulfur, petro, drop off. Uh, you are going to be that color. You are going to be like this. These are our only two inbound trains, so it should be fine. Um, that and you are going to be something to do with petro sulfur petro drop off until empty and you are going to go to wait um plastic petro no, refinery petro pickup until full and you can't do anything yet because there is no petroleum there there's no petroleum there because of the fact that we don't have cracking set up, <laughs> which, like I said, we're going to get to next time. That's exciting. All right, so let's take a look at our chemical plants here. We have six chemical plants for 
Uh, sulfur, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, these are taking in water and petroleum, so they need to be spaced a little bit apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're also going to have to get water in from somewhere. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute. They take two fluid inputs and one belt of outputs. Did I not grab more pipes? Oh, silly me. We're definitely not going to be finishing this play. We'll do our best though. We'll go until we run out of materials or time. Whatever comes first. Uh, it doesn't look right. Hold on now. There we go. <laughs> okay, and our petroleum does not actually come in where our template says it does. That's maybe not that unusual. Uh, you are going to be sulfur. Boy, am I glad that I checked because I was about to plop it in where the water goes. And we're out of undergrounds. Wonderful. Um. Okay, so obviously we have a lot more work to do here. We will probably take a break tomorrow then um, to actually set up our um, oil cracking uh, because that is going to provide us with more petroleum, which is going to be more important than building a uh, sulfur, sulfur facility which can't actually operate because it has no petroleum. So thank you very much for tuning in for day 42 of Nightfall, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah.